Hello and welcome to Word 2010, Working with Pictures. Today's lesson, Basic Shadow. Now, the shadows in Word 2010 can be applied to any picture or image, any type of clip art that you may have. They can be applied to any of the shapes from the shape gallery, or they can be applied to any text box. It's all up to you. For today's lesson, we're going to be working with clip art. Well, to get started applying a shadow, simply left click one time to select the image you want a shadow for, right click, and slide all the way down to format picture. Give it a click, and here comes the magic box. Now the format picture box is movable, so please move the box so that you can see the uh, format picture box and your image, because any changes you make in the box will be directly reflected on your image. By default, format picture box, magic box, opens up to picture corrections, but we don't want that. We want slide upstairs to uh, shadow. Left click one time. Now. In order to begin applying a shadow, you have to select a preset. The preset is simply uh, the general direction of where you want your shadow to begin, and then you take the rest of the settings to modify to taste. If you want a glow effect, you'll want the center one, offset center, to get a glow effect around your entire image. Me, for right now, I'm going to select the outer bottom right. Give it a click. Next thing, we have color. If you're printing in black and white, and usually most shadows, you have all the shades of black and gray to choose from. I'm just going to choose for the not exactly black, but next to it. Then we have five different sets of modifiers. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Okay, now distance. Okay, this is how near or far the shadow appears in your image. Right now it's set to 3. If we move the slider up, the farther, look at the image, see, the farther away, the lower the number, the closer the shadow, all the way to 0. You don't have a shadow at all. I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, go, go back to 3. Okay, now the next one up is angle. Okay, this is uh, measured in degrees. This is just like a circle, 360 degrees. Zero being your starting point, and the greater the number. Here, let me get a little more distance on this. Let's increase the distance. Now, watch the angle. The greater the number, see how it wants to go around in a circle? The bigger the number, all the way up to the top, will put you right back where you were. All right. Blur. Okay, the lower the number, the sharper. See, I've got it at zero. Notice how sharp and crispy clear she looks. Okay, now the greater the number, I'm going to increase these slowly. Okay, notice, see how it gets fuzzier and fuzzier to the degree it's almost indistinguishable. Okay, and I've got a blur of 11 points. If you go all the way up, you, you, you just got a mess. Okay, <laughs> no one knows what that is. Go back to zero, and usually a good number is about maybe three, four, uh, sometimes five, but I'm going to go with four. Next up the food chain, we have size. Uh, size is simply, it uh, starts at 100%, which is 100%. This is uh, your shadow in proportion to the image, is a direct proportion. The greater the number, it looks like it's getting farther away, but it's actually getting larger. With your glow effect around your image, size is what you'll want to use. Now, transparency. Okay, I'm going to switch pictures here and show you something about this uh, box here. Right now, I have that image selected. I'm going to move the box, and I'm going to pick on the scaredy cat. Now, when I select the scaredy cat, notice all my numbers changed. You can keep the box open and work on many different pictures all at the same time. The numbers will of course reflect whatever settings you have for that particular image. Now, to better explain transparency, let's uh here, let's move our kitty cat over a little. Uh let's uh 
move our get our box all this is is a square box with red tile okay let's click back on our kitty cat now our transparency as you notice up here is set to zero okay it is 100 percent solid and as we look at the image the shadow no we cannot see through it now as we move the transparency slider up you notice let's look at our image now we can start to see the red bricks showing through the shadow that's what transparency is and that is about the clearest way I can think to explain transparency oh one little trick I wanna show you here let's move this box out of the way if you are working with multiple images and you want the shadows to be exactly the same on each one just click on and select one that you've been working on go up to home and double click the format painter now just left click one time chapow. next image chapow. isn't that just the handiest little thing you ever saw <laughs> um, now that, that format painter trick right there is well worth watching this entire video for well anyway basic shadows that's how you apply them uh, have fun with your new toy and please enjoy the rest of the day.